diagram you will see that it is still we have a gap here from 139 to 140 so there's a gap here so it is going to be similar as the previous one but this time one thing has to be noticed is it doesn't start from zero right away it starts from 90 so there is a gap in the data if we start from if we draw an axis here let me draw this axis if you draw this axis here then it cannot start from 0 right away it has to be it has to start from 90 so this is a problem here because you cannot just start from 90 so this is called a broken line we can give a broken line here let me change the color to see better so since we're going to start from 90 so we can start from 90 right away if we give a broken line here like this so this this represents that there has been a break in the data and from 0 if we can right away start from 90 so we can just write this as 90 so that when we need 230 we can do 90 100 110 120, 130, 140, 150, 1670, 180, 190, 200, 10, 20, 30. So in that way, so from 90 to 230, this can be done very easily. So the labeling of the x-axis is going to be time this time. The labeling is always the data. So this is the time in minute. The y-axis will always be frequency density, FD. So when we draw a histogram, the first thing that we knew we need to know is the frequency density frequency density is frequency divided by class width so since there is a data here again so it will be 139.5 minus 89.5 we can just subtract it 139.5 minus 89.5 so or we can just do 139 minus 90 plus 1 the shortcut method So this is 50 so 8 divided by 50 then we have frequency is 10 divided by class width is 149.5 minus 139.5 because of the continuity correction there is a gap in the data here so 149 minus 140 is 9 plus 110 then we have 10 divided by 159 minus 150 which is going to be 9 plus 110 again then we have 169 this is again 4 divided by 10 then we have 4 divided by 10 then we have another 4 divided by let me check this one 229 minus 180 plus 1 this is 50 so let's calculate this 8 by 50 is going to be 0.16 this is going to be 1, this is going to be 1, this is going to be 0 0.4, this is going to be 0 0.4 and 4 divided by 50 is going to be 0 0.08 so the height of the histogram is going to be very small we better take something as 0 0.1 because the highest we need is 1 so we can consider this as 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4 Point 0.5, point 0.6, point 0.7, point 0.8, point 0.9, 1. So point 0.1, point 0.2, point 0.3, point 0.4, point 0.5, point 0.6, point 0.7, point 0.8, point 0.9, and we have 1. So 90 to 139 means 90.5 so just r it doesn't have to be that accurate so before 90 this is 90.5 and 139.5 is going to be 90 100 110 120 130 140 so this is going to be pretty big so 139.5 is going to be near to 140 it doesn't have to be that accurate and the height is going to be 0 0.16 so this is 0 0.1 and this is 0 0.2 so 0 0.16 is going to be around here 
remember the one that I'm drawing because of this it's it's not going to be that accurate but it is going to give you an idea of what it's going to be like so this is roughly 1 point point 0.16 so point 0.1 and we have another 6 here the next one is 140 to 149 meaning 139.5 to 149.5 so this is 139.5 and this is 150 so 149.5 is somewhere around here and the height of the building is 1 so we go up all the way to 1 so all the way to 1 all the way to 1 the next one is 149.5 to 159.5 so this is going to be 160 so 159.5 is here this is also going to be 1 now we have this up to 169 point so it means 170 and this height is 0 0.4 so 0 0.4 is this then 179.5 which is 180 and this is also 4 then we have this 229.5 close to this this is 0 0.08 which is going to be less than 1 so this is the histogram one thing you might do to add a finishing touch is when you draw a histogram after that you can shade your histogram so that it stands out just to give it an idea so that it doesn't blend with the graph paper just to give it a shading but don't spend too much time shading just a rough idea remember when you draw the histogram we need the label axis this is very very important now let's do one sum where the data has no gap so means we don't have to do any continuity correction so 10 and 10 so that's it this is the class boundary and that's it so when you draw the class boundary on the x-axis all you have to do is 5 10 20 because there is no gap here you don't have to put any 0.5 let's start with the frequency density so FD is going to be frequency will be class width so now here you don't have to do 10.5 minus 4.5 or anything you just have to just subtract it 10 minus 5 is 5 S frequency 16 by 20 minus 10 is 10 very straight 20 divided by 25 minus uh, 20 is going to be 5 18 divided by class width is 30 minus 25 is 5 then this is going to be 20 divided by 40 minus 30 is 10 14 divided by 60 minus 40 is 20 and 12 divided by 90 minus 60 is 30 so let's calculate 8 divided by 5 1.6 this is also 1.6 16 divided by 10 this is 4 18 by 5 is 18 divided by 5 is 3.6 20 divided by 10 is 2 14 divided by 20 is 14 divided by 20 point 0.7 12 divided by 30 is 0.4 now let's draw the axis the data here is length so length the labeling is very very important unit in centimeter and the y-axis is always frequency density it starts from 5 and ends at 90 let's try to see whether it works here or not 5 10 15 20 25 30 35 40 45 50 55 60 65 70 75 80 85 so we need one more let's see how, how it works out so the height is 1.6 1.6 up to 3.6 
if we use 0 0.5 it's going to be 0 0.51 2 3 4 so the first one is from 5 to 10 so here we don't have to do the 0.5 continuity correction this is extremely important since we have no gap here the class boundary is the limit so 5 is the class boundary 10 is the class boundary there is no need to do continuity correction because there is no gap here so the height is going to be 1.6 so 5 so here to 10 here so this is 1.6 next one 10 to 20 the height is 1.6 again so 10 to 20 so 1.6 the next one is 20 to 25 20 to 25 the height is 4 so the height is going to be 4 20 to 25 the next one is 25 to 30 and the height is going to be 3.6 so 25 to 30 height is 3.6 next one is 30 to 40 height is 2 so 30 to 40 so the height is 2 then 40 to 60 the height is 0.7 so 0.7 is going to be around here to 60 so this is 0.7 and then we have 60 to 90 which is 0.4 so 0.4 is here so 60 all the way to here maybe around here to 90 and then we can do some shading That's it.